YouTube, what's going on? It's Sans here. Got a gameplay video today for you guys, as well as uh, as well as the beginning, I think, of of a new series that I would like to try, uh, which is going to be basically, you know, a weekly news update. Uh, so we'll get to that here in just a second. Let's touch on the game real quick. So this game, I'm running a light machine gun, as you can see, was uh, still working on diamond camo at this point. Although thankfully, I am done and am not looking back uh, whatsoever. Don't think I'll be touching a light machine gun again for a while. Uh, but this is hardcore kill confirmed. And while this is not my my greatest game by any means, uh, I ended up getting dogs on it. And I know that getting some of the higher score streaks in uh, in hardcore is definitely challenging. So so that's that's the big reason why why I'm sharing this with you. Now, as far as the uh, the second portion of this, or what I'd like to start doing on a weekly basis, is sharing news. And now I know I probably just lost about half of you. Half of you probably literally just just click that close button. Uh, but the news that I'm going to be covering is going to is going to be kind of a variety of different things, a variety of different flavors, if you, if you will. So some of it is going to relate to, of course, you know, Black Ops type news. Some of it's going to relate to other type of gaming news. And uh, and I think I'm, what I would really like to do, though. They start sharing things that are happening in the international community, so more of like international affairs. And I know that may sound a little bit cut and dry or a little bit boring, but I'm hoping to be able to present some of the stories or some of the things that are happening um, in more in a positive light and in a way that's that's going to engage you guys. So let's kick it off and see how this goes. So first off, I'm not sure how many of you guys are really into the whole tower defense game or, or anything like that, but StarCraft II is set to release here on March 12th. Now, I just watched the cinematic trailer for it, and I gotta, I gotta be honest with you guys, it looks absolutely insane. Now, keep in mind, of course, it's not a first-person shooter or anything like that, or even a third-person shooter. It's, it's one of those top-down, tower defense strategy type games. Um, I used to love playing the original Warcraft and, uh, and loved playing, you know, Command & Conquer. So, if that's your thing, or if you guys have played some of that, you know, previously, definitely take a look at it. Go out and watch the cinematic trailer, if nothing else, just to appreciate some of the graphics. The aliens in there look amazing. Gameplay looks pretty fun. Um, I don't think that it's going to be a game that, that I'll be picking up, but I did want to share that for you guys out there uh, that, that may find it somewhat interesting or, or maybe are looking you know, to, to, to try something new. Um, so again, it releases, it releases March 12th, StarCraft II, Heart of the Swarm. So in uh, other news, Atari has filed for bank, uh, bankruptcy. And this is a little bit uh, this is a little bit sad, uh, just because Atari really kind of shaped the gaming industry into what it is today. Uh, some of you may not may not you know care that much, but in a way, it's kind of one of those things that that is so unique and wholesome to gaming. I guess the analogy that I have is that uh, you know maybe for my non-American viewers, you're not going to get it, but but it's kind of like when Hostess shut down, so there's no more Twinkies. I know that <laughs> some of you out there are probably like Twinkies. Oh my God, those are like those fat fuck treats that are just absolutely disgusting. Uh, Maybe some truth to that. I don't know. I, I'm not a big Twinkie connoisseur, but it was a little bit sad to <laughs> to see Hostess, you know, go out of business. Uh, so hopefully Atari remains solvent and is able to, uh, you know, to, to retain that brand. And uh, and if not, you know, just just hope all of you appreciate what they've done for the gaming industry and what they've done, you know, to to really kind of spearhead and 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 lead uh, lead Xbox and PlayStation and everyone to where it is today. So in other news, uh, I don't know how many of you out there are PC gamers, but the new SimCity beta is going to be open January 20, uh, January 25th through the 28th. I got a link below in the description uh, so you guys can try and get into that beta if, if it's something you're interested in. Now the beta is going to take place this weekend, which of course is double XP weekend, uh, so I'm not sure how many of you guys are, are going to um, you know be doing that instead. Now the, the SimCity beta, from what I gather, is only going to be an hour of gameplay. So, uh, so you'll still have uh, plenty of time to, to get back online and play some Call of Duty if you want. But I figured I'd share that with you guys um, that may be interested in, in signing up for it. Now again, it is a closed beta, so it's going to be by invitation only. So go ahead and click the link below and, uh, and see if you guys can, uh, can register for that if it's something that you're interested in. All right, you guys. So in other news, uh, now I'm not trying to make this my channel, you know, a political debate forum or anything, but I am trying to, you know, spark ideas and share information with you guys. So uh, the Obama administration has called for a study to be conducted um, on to whether or not violent video games actually contribute to some of the mass shootings. So, of course, in light of Sandy Hook, uh, which was a terrible tragedy, um, one step that they're, that they're taking besides, you know, potentially curbing, you know, guns or, or implementing new gun control laws is to, to find out, you know, what the effects of, of video games are on on children and people and if there's a potential link there. So for me, I, I, 
I identify myself, you know, as a gamer. I love gaming, and I find it, um, I guess, a little bit unnerving uh, that that some things may be regulated by the federal government. You know, like video games. I don't know that that it's something that I necessarily agree with. Of course, if it saves someone's lives, then sure. But uh, but I think it's getting a little bit overboard. So I figured that I would share that with you guys. They're granting ten million dollars uh, for that study, and uh, not sure when the results are going to be published. But but something that definitely to to keep your your you know ear to the ground for and 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 maybe you know follow up with so i want to make a segue uh i guess into since we're already kind of talking about politics into what's happening with egypt right now so the united states has a foreign aid package i know you guys are like ah oh, foreign aid that shit's boring it's like food you know da, 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 da. actually what it amounts to is the united states is going to be supplying uh, egypt with uh 16 uh f-16 fighter jets and 200 tanks now, uh, some of you are probably looking at this and saying, okay, well, you know, why do I care? Why is that interesting? Uh, you know, a lot of the stuff that's happening right now is go definitely going to affect uh, the future. And I don't know if I necessarily agree with someone, uh, in this case, President Morsi, uh, while during the Arab Spring was a United States supporter. And now, since the transition has kind of belittled the United States, saying that the United States is, you know, a bunch of, a bunch of assholes, basically, and... Uh, and that Israel, you know, should go fuck themselves. Now, I mean, he didn't say it, you know, obviously in that way, but that's kind of uh, kind of what what has happened over the last uh, over the last year. Um, you can you can see here, and in, in even when playing, you know, any of the modern warfare episodes, that a lot of this stuff is taking place overseas. It's taking place in Europe, or it's taking place here in the United States. And you look at who it is. You look at it, you know, you see that it's Russia. You see that it's China you know, invading forces. This one kicks off. You're in Africa. Uh, there's a lot of stuff that's really that's really going on that this game even plays into as far as the whole current events type thing. So I encourage you guys to maybe start following this stuff. I know that it's kind of dry, but a lot of this uh, a lot of this is really really interesting and is definitely going to be shaping the uh, the playing field here in the future. So for me, I have a big interest in military history, uh, big interest in in special ops and that type of stuff. Uh, I was in the Marine Corps before. So, um, so a lot of it strikes a little bit closer to home, and I know that some of you out there that, that are watching uh, are either current active duty or prior service, you know, veterans, uh, or else potentially people that are thinking about joining the military. So I want to say thank you for your guys' service. I do appreciate it, and uh, and the military is a blast. You know, if it's something that you guys think about pursuing, then then definitely do it. Now I'm not you know making a plug for the military by any means, but uh, but you know it, it it really was a lot of fun for me. So. Uh, you know, with that, I kind of wanted to, to make another segue into, uh, into I guess, for my female audiences out there, which is probably consists of, of maybe one viewer. Uh, the Pentagon actually announced today here on, uh, the tw on the 23rd of January that, that women would now be allowed in combat roles. So I'm not going to get into the particulars uh, of a debate as to whether or not I feel the women should be able to serve in that capacity or not. I've definitely met a lot of women that, that could kick my ass uh, while I was in the Marine Corps. Uh, one of our close combat instructors, in fact, was a woman, and, uh, and she could definitely pull her own weight. So, you know, that's, that's not, I think, the major concern that I have. Uh, the major concern I have is one of hygiene. Um, if you're out in the field 30 days, 45 days, 60 days, definitely keeping clean uh, can be a little bit difficult. And, of course, if you're captured as a prisoner of war, uh, you know, rape is definitely, um, uh, I think, a, a method of torture that... that the enemy would wholeheartedly use. So, you know, I guess those are those are my major concerns with it. Um, do I think the women should be able to serve in combat roles? Uh, I don't personally have an issue with it, but I was not a grunt. I wasn't an infantry guy in the Marine Corps. So, so you know, I, I don't know that it's necessarily fair for me to speak to that. Um, but figured that I would share that with you, and, and hopefully, you know, some of you uh, out there may take a little bit of interest in it. So I'm going to wrap up this week's episode please go ahead and leave me a comment. Uh, if nothing else, give it a thumbs up or a thumbs down so that I know what you guys are thinking, whether or not you found it interesting, uh, whether or not you found it relevant. And uh, and I guess that'll be kind of a gauge to let me know if I should keep on uh, producing videos like this or if I should uh, hit the drawing board and, and maybe revert to, to something else. So please leave a comment and uh, subscribe to the channel. Thanks for watching, you guys.
my sight. Solid execution. <laughs> 